We discussed the issue of masks in school. It's important to make clear that it's a minority, a minority of people who are opposed to masks in schools. But this minority is vocal, in some cases threatening, aggressive, even violent. Oh, okay, here we go. I've told you guys about this before, but the left-wing Democrat state media loves to employ this tactic where they try to make things that are completely normal seem like they're outside the bounds of normalcy. And another tactic is a play here where they want their viewers, they want left-wingers and other Democrats to think that the only legitimate protest is one that is pushing a left-wing agenda or a Democrat party agenda. And you can say the same thing about elections. They think the only legitimate election is one that they win. And you gotta just love the complete lack of consistent standards here. We're talking about very peaceful parents who might get vocal sometimes about not wanting their kids to be in masks eight hours a day, seven days a week. And let's not forget that beyond calling these clearly violent protests mostly peaceful, they also went out of their way to defend violent rioters who threw bottles and rocks at their own reporters. A, a video shared on Twitter uh, of a water bottle being thrown at your crew uh, on one occasion. This seems like it was protesters trying to, uh, trying to create trouble. This was a story that went viral in right-wing media. Frankly, they claim CNN was covering it up, which is ridiculous, but... We even moved because some protesters didn't want to be on camera, so we moved to accommodate them. Then another smaller group of protesters came around and started sort of shouting us down. They had a loudspeaker, they were trying to shout us down. They wanted us to, they wanted us to move to a place where we couldn't see the protesters that were taunting the police. Uh, and that's when this water bottle gets thrown at one of our, our guys. Didn't want to look like we were running, that's when somebody hit me with a water bottle, and then we sort of just started moving toward our cars. They continued to sort of pelt us with whatever they could find. You know, a lot of people are very angry, suspicious of the press, the corporate media. It was intense. There were people who were angry at everything and everybody, and we happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm going to cover more of this completely insane segment, but first take just a moment to hear about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply. America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000-plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose do it now and remember we just went through years now of violent left-wing mob protests and riots that spread across this entire country while people on cnn kept insisting that it was mostly peaceful none of these parents have burned anything down some of them have gotten into scuffles maybe a handful but most of these people are just very vocal i don't want to get too ahead of myself on this clip but i'm warning you right now if you have some tape you better wrap it tightly around your head because it's probably going to explode of this the majority who support masks parents and yes students some of whom are just fed up with the aggressive minority i'm sorry who is telling these kids or these parents that they can't wear a mask they're free to wear a mask the problem that we're having is that schools want to force kids to wear masks <laughs> fed up with the aggressive minority I, like we're uh, this is like mind-bending gaslighting going on here you, you, are you trying to tell me right now that these black clad Antifa chuds, these communist mobs, that they're not an aggressive, violent minority? Yet they get complete cover and even promotion and protection from this guy and his Democrat Party bosses. This, it's just the exact same thing that they do with every protest that isn't a Democrat or left-wing led protest. They did it with the Tea Party. They did it with the pro-Trump protest. They did it with the anti-lockdown protest. It's like if you're protesting anything that goes against their agenda or their narrative, well, then you're going to become a target. Case in point here. In this photo, which is gone viral, you can see a 14-year-old student giving a one-fingered salute to anti-mask protesters outside her school. 
<laughs> it's just so cute and funny, isn't it? Oh, she flipped off these adults. She's a child, but she flipped off adults for the high crime of protesting. Uh, not even really protesting, just standing around peacefully with signs. And that saluter there, as we should say, Fiona joins me now along with her finger and her mother, Megan Downey. Uh, thank you both so much for being with us this morning. Fiona, why don't you just walk us through what happened on the bus on the way to school that day? Um, okay, so the protesters are there every single day and they come over and they just hold up their signs. And for me, I was just fed up and I was built with anger. Um, <laughs> okay, so what we have here is a child flipping off parents who are peaceful and are just making their voices be heard. What is it that we always hear from these people? That, that people should go out and make their voices be heard. We are constantly told how utterly American protest is and how crucial it is to democracy. Oh, oh, unless you're protesting something that the state media doesn't agree with. But just get ready because I know those of you who are parents out there would never in a million years teach your child to disrespect parents, much less flip off peaceful parents who are just making their voices heard. But like I said, these people can rationalize anything and as long as it's against people that they disagree with, well then anything goes. And I just decided to give them the finger because I thought it was the best thing I could do, but yeah. so, so when you drive past them to get into your school, I mean, what do the signs say and how does it make you feel? Um, they say like stuff like masks aren't the cure. Um, I can't remember the rest, but. And by the way, what's wrong about that sign? The mask is not the cure. Well, there's no arguing against that. The mask is most certainly not the cure. And in fact, there is no cure for COVID and there isn't gonna be a cure for COVID. It makes me just really angry. And I don't know, it makes everyone else angry and we're all just annoyed with it. All right, just think about that for a second. She just admitted that they're peacefully standing there with signs every day and that that just made her angry. And because she's angry, she's now allowed to express that anger towards the people she disagrees with. But do you think for a one second that that standard applies to you and how you might respond to their protest? Of course not. Megan, you got a text from Fiona basically saying, um, well, what did the text say? Yeah, she said, Mom, I flipped off the anti-maskers and they flipped me ba off back and, um... Wait a second. She just said that they flipped her off back, but she just said a second ago that nobody saw her flip him off. Um, do you think they saw the message you delivered? Um, no. Yeah, she said, Mom, I flipped off the anti-maskers and they flipped me ba off back and, um... But now her mom is saying that she said that they flipped her off back. So uh, right off the bat, this story isn't making any coherent sense. Honestly, I understood her frustration and her anger. It's an odd parenting moment, right? Because when your child tells you, hey, I, I, you know, I think I might've just been photographed <laughs> flipping the bird to a bunch of protesters here, um, you know, what was your reaction? My initial reaction was they think they're protecting you. And then she went to class and the day was really uneventful until the next morning um, when it started to go viral. Forced to ride the bus every day to school and see these people and she was done and she expressed herself. So I I'm, I'm proud of my daughter and I'm fine with that. No, I'm just smiling because it's one of those challenging parenting moments. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to see what's going on here. This mother thinks that she's got the next Greta Thunberg because her child flipped off an adult who was peacefully standing with a son. So then the question you have to ask is why this child's so angry when she sees signs that state something that she doesn't agree with? And does she think that it's perfectly acceptable if she's protesting, if other people get very upset and come back at her just as aggressively? Well, then this standard should just apply to all of us. If we see a protest we don't like, well, we could just go over there and start flipping them off. She seems to have it in her head that these people don't have a right to do what they're doing when they do. And I just wonder what kind of crazy justifications, mental gymnastics, these people are doing. You know, honestly, I understood her frustration and her anger. It's been 18 months of this pandemic, which has been hard on all of us in different ways, but especially, I think, on adolescents. And but the other side could say the exact same thing. They feel like their kids have gone through a lot having to wear masks all day every day and apparently it didn't make any difference because they're having to do it again. But none of that matters. Those kids, those parents, they don't matter. Their concerns aren't legitimate. Only their concerns because they're on CNN. That's not something you're supposed to do, but sort of you're whispering to yourself, right on. You know, it's sort of, you, you got to be careful with that. Where does this go from here? 
you think, in, in the coming days? Are these people going to be outside? Your, you're in Vermont, I should note. I mean, they can't be out there all winter. It's going to get cold. And I ask again, what kind of a parent teaches their child that it's okay to disrespect other parents? I don't claim to be the best father ever, but I would never even consider teaching my child such a lesson. I have no idea. I hope that the school can do something about it. I mean, they're right outside of school property. No, that's not school property. That's public property. And so, no, there's nothing that you can do or the school can do. You can't have these people arrested for the high crime of protesting something that you happen to agree with. And I just want to reiterate how disturbing it is that CNN and this mother are teaching this child this lesson that there's something wrong if people are protesting something that you disagree with or something that you agree with, that it's perfectly acceptable to disrespect them in their faces. While no doubt if the same people did the exact same thing back to her, they're going to have a problem with it. I just want to throw something else out there. Now that she's allowed her daughter and CNN has brought her daughter into the national public debate, how are they going to react when people come back towards her very negatively? Well, I think that that's really the entire purpose of all this, at least as far as CNN goes. I think her mother probably thinks she's the next Greta Thunberg or something. But CNN wants to put her out there because they know now that people are going to tweet her or email her or maybe protesters at the school will protest her specifically. And then they're going to act all outraged about that and use it to demonize these people even more. You spread a message uh, and, and I think they saw it and I think a lot of people are seeing it and I understand your frustration because it is a minority, this vocal aggressive minority who are protesting masks and, and sometimes you have to deliver a certain message back. Um, it's just amazing how the language and the tone completely changes when they're talking about a minority which they see as likely white people and conservative or Christian or Republican. Either way, this is a minority they can all rally around hating. And I'd like to see his proof that it's a minority of parents that don't want their kids in masks eight hours a day, seven days a week. And even if it was just a minority of students, what's his point there? Like your right to protest suddenly goes away if the majority doesn't agree with you? If that's the case, then the vast majority of left-wing Democrat Party protests are a small minority of very vocal people who, lucky for them, have the backing of major state media complexes like CNN and MSNBC. All right, folks, that's about all of that that I could take for one day. But as always, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comment section.